believe we're going for a start. Yes. yes, indeed, we are going for a start. Well, there's drivers at the back of the grid there who are going to be seriously disadvantaged, but then the start was deemed to be a fair one by these stewards, by the clerk, and all some dust being kicked up on the back straight. Again, you see a little bit of contact out there, and a couple of drivers left the circuit. It's not been a clean start. Oh, dear, 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 as the dust is kicking around on the far side of the circuit from my commentary position, I'm afraid already on lap one there's been some serious serious comings together however having taken my eye off the ball slightly so to speak i do believe that mike usens has converted his pole position for a lead and that it's wesley orr in second place think that that's peter scaffolds yes our screen showing that peter scaffolds in third place so mike usens leads wesley orr and peter scaffolds sinella america is fourth martin pierce has dropped a place to fifth tom's bobrovskis is okay in sixth place Ricardo Romcomer 7th, David Griffiths 8th, Marlon Stockinger up to 9th and Rafael Ranger 10th. So the Philippines driver from Asia 9th, the North American driver from Canada is in 10th place. Well, the South African driver from the continent of Africa in 2nd place, although he is based currently now in Italy, driving for CRG Italy. Dominic Cryhammer on his home circuit was, uh, I think, one of the guys who was involved back in 18th place. But here come our race leaders, cart number 270 and Wesley Orr making a bid for the lead but then thinking better of it. But Peter Scaffolds also, well, now Wesley Orr looks over his shoulder. Wesley Orr is thinking, hey, when am I going to get past the race leader? But he's also thinking, just a minute, if I get this wrong, instead of going first, I go third. It's a really good scrap for the first three, isn't it? Mike Eusens leads Wesley Orr and Peter Scaffolds. Let's concentrate. And Wesley Orr goes in front. Wesley Orr takes the lead. Well, that, and that was a really experienced drive by Wesley Orr. And Peter Scaffolds has also punished Mike Eusens. So that's really unlucky for Mike Eusens. Didn't do an awful lot wrong, but Wesley Orr prized him open. And as, as Mike Eusens had to yield to Wesley Orr, there was a gap for Peter Scaffolds to go into as well. So Wesley Orr now leads from uh, Mike Eusens, sorry, uh, from Peter Scaffolds and Mike Eusens. 22 lap race, there's 19 of the laps still remaining. Wesley Orr leads, Peter Scaffolds second, Mike Eusens third, Martin Pierce now back to fourth place. Tom's Bobrovskis fifth, Ricardo Romcomer sixth, Sinel America drops some places, he's only seventh now, and David Griffiths eighth, and our uh, further overseas or out of continent drivers, Marlon Stockinger from the Philippines ninth, Rafael Ranger from Canada tenth. Just looking further down, Aaron Smith from the Republic of Ireland running 13th, Dominic Cryhammer in his home uh, Rotax Euro Challenge series will be disappointed to be running only 19th. Well, that really close race between the first three has widened out a little bit, hasn't it? Because uh, you see some really good close dicing down the field, our television pictures capturing it nicely. But uh, in the one, two and three, Wesley Orr's got a bit of a margin already on Peter Scaffolds. Can't believe he's created 0.8 of a second, but he has. Mike Eusen's in third place. And then comes the racing pack led by Martin Pierce, Tom's Bobrovskis and Ricardo Romcomer. Well, once again, oh, and a little bit of touching there that we see in screen on our television pictures. It's a little bit further downfield. I think that that may have involved Bert Arden, but I'm not 100% sure. And somebody who has uh, gone off the tarmac onto the grass, but regaining the circuit. Well done to you, sir. Not sure which of the drivers it was. And leads, sorry, and positions changing hands very, very frequently down the field. But at the sharp end of the race, it's a clear race leader with Wesley Orr from Peter Scaples and Mark Eusens. They start the next lap, 17 laps to go, five of them gone. Well, maybe I should have uh, said it the other way round, that uh, on the 5th of 22, as our screen is showing, Wesley Orr won his first world title at Lanzarote in the Canary Islands and defended that particular world title that was in uh, the island of Langkawi off mainland Malaysia in November of last year. Wesley Orr, one of the first ever Rotax drive drivers to get a works drive. It's very, very rare, if not uh, never happened in the past, but Wesley Orr sets the fastest lap with 44.56. He's uh, sponsored by, XR, uh, sorry, by CRG and the X2 suit racewear and his father, his father Hugh, would be very, very proud of him. 10 years in karting Wesley Orr, so he started when he was eight, he's just 18 now. The world champion, the former world champion, and the leader of this particular race.
Well, here at uh, the A1 Speed World, the sun has continued to shine on us. We've seen minimal lack of sunshine throughout the whole of the four days of the race meeting. We associate the Southern Hemisphere with a sunny climb, so Wesley Orr presumably feeling pretty happy to come from the South African winter to this European summer as hot as it is. And he's certainly making his presence felt here in the race. He leads Peter Scaffels, Mike Eusens is still third, Tom's Bobrovskis fourth, Martin Pierce has dropped a place to Tom's Bobrovskis, so Martin Pierce, the championship leader, down into fifth place. Ricardo Romkema sixth, David Griffith seventh, Marlon Stockinger up a place to eighth, Bernd Herndlhofer from here at the A1 Speed World on his home track is now ninth, Senel America tenth, winner in the uh, round at Salbury, but Raphael Ranger of Canada drops out the top ten to eleventh. Danny Blake is uh, making his way from the lower order of the grid up to 13th place in part 323. Well, Wesley Orr, part number 206, very distinctive uh, style as we've described in commentary several times. He goes through once again, sees that the laps chart is showing 14 to go. We saw the race distance between him and Peter Scaffolds, point sorry 1.805 299 in shot there interesting driver cart 299 david griffiths i have to say that even as an englishman i uh, had rather been uh, crept up unnoticingly by david griffiths extremely good performance in the pre-final to qualify uh, in uh, fifth position and david griffiths very very experienced the dartford karting man there you see cart number 229 showing sorry 299 showing the caption david griffiths from england been in Euro challenges previously, but uh, not had a long sustained run, perhaps it would be fair to say. Of course, the leading Englishman is 204, Martin Pierce, running in fifth place. Martin Pierce, uh, the current world number three, as I say, and the current championship leader. And Martin Pierce is a wily old boy, you know. He's been around in karting for quite a while, and uh, Martin Pierce knows that you can win championships by just constantly finishing where you want to be. In other words, second, third, fourth every time. You don't have to win every race to be a champion. Helps if you do, but Martin Pierce playing something of a percentage game, I think. Wesley Orr sets another fastest lap at 44.541. 44.541, that's pretty swift by Wesley Orr. Incidentally, that does make a good uh, benchmark between these Rotax Max Orthodox vehicles and, of course, the DD2 two-speed gearbox because Wesley Orr regularly into the 43s on the DD2, but 44.41 the best so far. And the gap between him and Peter Scaffers in second place is widening. 2.828 is now the margin between uh, Peter Scaffers chasing down Wesley Orr. Perhaps we should be saying Wesley Orr moving away from part number 228, Peter Scaffers. I say again that Peter Scaffers has uh, driven very solidly throughout this particular weekend, driving for Combicart Holland, and uh, guess what? He's driving a combi cart. His lead over Mike Eusens is also pretty useful. That's uh, just having a quick look. 44.859 was Mike Eusens' best time and its um, best lap. And that's actually quicker than Peter Scaffolds. But Peter Scaffolds increasing his margin on Mike Eusens. Nevertheless, Tom's Bobrovskis is the driver who relegated Martin Pierce from fourth to fifth. And Tom's Bobrovskis, the Latvian Express, very tall lad, very... Um, what shall we say, very sanguine, takes everything in his stride. He's actually disqualified from the last round, but uh, he just moves on, and uh, I'm certainly impressed with Tom. Now, you see Tom there in cart number 207. If Tom has a bit of a problem in karting, it's this, if we can look again when we have the opportunity. Tom Bobrovskis is a big lad, over six feet, and it's not easy to fit six feet into a cart. There you see there's a lot of upper body below the... Uh, Oh, sorry, above the line where the legs and waist are. So cart number 207, Tom's Bobrovskis. There's a lot of him to be fitted into that cart. And as he's uh, lining up Mike Eusens in third place, well, Mike Eusens would be very, very disappointed to lose uh, a podium spot. We're very early in the race to be talking about podiums. But